quickly. Uh, from the far outside, Hoosier Boy is leaving hard and going to get into the two-hole position. Cam Cracker is left uh, more alertly this night. He's on the inside third. There's Gallo Blue Chip caught to the outside from fourth over into the first turn about to lose control. Following up in fifth, I had a false alarm, LCB, uh, and a poor start. Gun that won the West is the trailer by three more lengths. McDillon cut the first quarter, 28-2, and two, Gallo Blue Chip. Parked around the first turn, and Bill O'Donnell has had him under sustained urging. Gallo Blue Chip parking to three-eighths completion. Goes under heavy urging to try to clear off McDillon for the lead. Hoosier boy saw that transpire from third. Cam Cracker is closer attending this time. He's fourth. Sitting on the inside fifth is about to lose control. He's flushing some cover there. Third from last. False alarm that LCB and gun that won the West. Gallo blue chip. 56 and one to make front. 27 and four the second quarter. Cam Cracker popped to the outside from fourth and goes on uncovered at the world's four million dollar pacer on the lead three eighths of the mile to go spotting it up second over is about to lose control mcdillon back along the inside seeing this transpire false alarm is third over in the flow to head stretch now fifth at the outside a steady shuffle for hoosier boy way back to sixth and lcb and gun that won the west and to the top of the stretch cam cracker has overtaken gallo blue chip for the lead 124 and four and down the stretch in round two of the spring pacing championship cam Cracker is clear by three and driving away, about to lose control, dives to the inside. McDillon tries to come out around him, but it's all Cam Cracker. Cam Cracker wins round two of the Spring Pacing Championship. McDillon up for second. Hoosier Boy shook loose late for a third, about to lose control, was fourth. Cam Cracker, 153. Number six, Cam Cracker, the fourth race winner from Mohawk in the second leg of the 2003 Spring Pacing Championship. The Cam Best seven-year-old from Give Peace a Chance. Owned by Aubrey Friedman of Burlington, Ontario, Brian Nixon of Centerport, New York, trained by Mark Carter and driven to victory by Paul McDonnell. The fourth win in 11 starts of this year, 153, Cam Cracker. confidently as well yeah he was right on his game tonight uh, last week unfortunately everything went against him he had the 10 hole and when I left there was just a wall of horses nowhere to go with him and uh, it just turned out to be a disaster but tonight uh, you know things kind of worked out in his favor he did have to go a little first over for a ways but uh, when he cleared he was uh, he was tons when you saw things unfold up in front of you uh, the fact that Gallo blue chip really had to work hard to get to the front uh, did that weigh at all in your mind as far as making the decision to go first up uh, I knew I'd be first up at that point. I didn't know if uh, Hoosier Boy would want to come out uh, uh, after believing hard, so uh, it didn't bother me that my horse was first over, but uh, yeah, Gallo did have to work hard to get there. First over all the way around the last turn, and when you did make the front, were you concerned about anybody coming from behind and picking you off? Well, Trevor's horse, uh, I knew he'd be fresh in the hole, but uh, apparently he never got out soon enough, and Hoosier Boy as well, so you have to be aware of those horses because they are good horses, and uh, you know, they can strike and uh, nail you late if uh, you're not paying attention. From what you've seen so far, uh, who do you think the horses to beat are in the series? Well, I like Hoosier Boy. He seems to be real confident off a, off a trip. And, uh, you know, if he's within striking distance next week at the head of the lane, he'll be tough. But uh, he will have to be uh, pretty good to beat uh, Cam Cracker, I think. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Paul McDonnell, Cam Cracker, the defending champ. He's back with a big uh, victory here tonight in round number two of the Spring Pacing Championship.